Hi, my name is Jeremy Schulman. I go by Network Automaniac on Twitter. And today I'd like to show you uh, a technique that I've been experimenting with in our network automation practice. And so what you're looking at here um, is a visualization of precision time protocol uh, state in our network. And I'm using a, uh, a free tool called Graphia, um, which is used to represent graph data. And I'm going to take you through what this visualization is showing uh, you, and I'm going to take you through how I built it. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a primer on a precision time protocol if you're not familiar with um, that type of service in a network. So just to, to kick off really quickly, precision time protocol is a way to deliver high precision clocking information throughout your network, and it is used in different types of networks such as uh, broadcasting for media type uh, networks, also used in financial networks as well as service provider networks. So there's a broad applicability for PTP, uh, but not everybody uses it. What's really challenging is to understand, you know, where is my clocking uh, originating from and how is it transiting my network and is it okay? You know, if, if you don't have clocking working correctly, um, your services won't behave as you expect. So there's a lot of questions about, you know, is it working okay? So right off the bat, what this visualization is trying to show you is, uh, first and foremost, how is clocking flowing through my network? And I'll explain that. And whether or not good or bad things are, are you, know, you know, happening. So right off, you know, we can see like there's red here and yellow here. So there's bad things happening here and um, some, some bad things happening here, but not as bad. That's kind of what that visualization shows you. And again, I'm going to go into, you know, what all this means and how I got here. But the other part of this is, I'm representing the state of a PTP interface by color. And uh, the colors I'm using here is blue represents a, an interface that's in slave mode. And so that means it's receiving uh, clocking. And uh, green here is a interface that's in uh, what's called a master state. So it's transmitting clocking. And so right off the bat, you can kind of see that this, this device, so these, these large nodes in my graph represent devices, so you can see this interface is uh, receiving clocking from this device, and this device is receiving clocking you know, off this interface. And since there's nothing connected to this interface, this must be where our grandmaster happens to be. The grandmaster is the, the primary source of clocking. So grandmaster comes in here. These green interfaces are distributing clocking to all these other devices. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and I wanted to take you through, you know, how I got here. So before I do that, let's let's take a step back. Uh, again, what is this visualization representing? It's representing the results of tests that we do against our network to see whether or not precision time protocol is operating as we expect. And we do this, you know, we've got a a, a tool that allows me to design a network, and in this design of our network. It'll tell me what we expect those interfaces uh, to be operating, in this case, precision time protocol. We can see that these four top interfaces are connected to a grandmaster device, that's by design. And then those interfaces will either be in slave or master a state, depending on whether or not that particular grandmaster is active or not. And then the rest of the interfaces are going to achieve one of these expected states, again, based on our design. So this interface, for example, here could be in one of these three states. And if it's not in one of those three states, then the test fails. Likewise, you know, we have a lot of edge, edge interfaces, and these are all master, meaning these are edge interfaces on the network, and they're providing clocking to the connected devices, like, say, a video source or, or something like an audio system. And if it's not master, then the test is going to fail. So, we then have the ability to take that, that data, run, a, run our test, which I'm not, I'm not showing you the, the process to run the, the, the test, but we run the test and then we can look at the data, uh, we can run a report and we can see, you know, do we have a grandmaster port? We do, and is it on one of the interfaces that we expected it to be on? So, you know, here it's saying we found a grandmaster and it is on this interface and that interface is one of the ones that we expected, you know, here.
Likewise, we can see that one of the things about precision time protocol in your network is that you want to make sure that all of the devices are receiving their clocking from the same grandmaster. You know, so if, if they're not, then there's a problem in your network. And then we can see that we have some interfaces that have failed their tests. They're in a disabled state, but they failed their test because the interface is down. So I just kind of report that as an informational uh, state here. So we've got, you know, this is a report we run. And then as a result of this report data, it generates this data file, which I then kind of load into this system. So um, I'm going to show you, you know, that process now and, and how we got here. So let's load that data file. Okay. So uh, right off the bat, what you're looking at is um, this data file, in fact, contains multiple graphs of data. This graph represents um, our topology, like all the, the topology nodes and edges. And this one over here happens to represent PTP, and this one over here happens to represent uh, BGP in our network. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to use this tool to navigate this data and get the visualizations out that we want, the, the analysis that we want. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to look at this particular graph. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to filter this data, or what they call a transformation, and I'm only going to look at certain nodes. Again, the word node in graph terminology means, you know, the, 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 the element that connects to other things. So you have nodes and edges in graphs. So I want to keep only certain nodes. And uh, in, in our system that produced this data, we have a, what's called a check type. And I only want to look at certain certain test results, essentially. So I want to look at PTP port checks and PTP system checks. And that is going to bring just this particular node or this, this graph set of data you know, into view. Now, this is not very interesting because we don't really know what it's trying to tell us. So we want to color this node and visualize it. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up the, the the, the, the nodes, I'm going to color them as pass or fail. So again, each of these nodes represents um, a test case, you know. Uh, and so I want, to, I want to add a visualization about that. And so I want to look at the status um, of that, and I want to set the, the node status color. And I've set up some color presets. So one of them is for pass and fail. So right away, we can see that this graph has some failures. And we expect that from the results I just showed you. These are interfaces that are in a PTP disabled state, uh, which they shouldn't be. So we, you know, we can right away see that. Now, I'm going to flatten this data out because it's somewhat you know, hard to see you know, looking at it in 3D, although it is very cool. I'm going to flatten this out into 2D. And um, you know, this gives us. All of the, all of the uh, data, you know, again, that is pass and fail. Now, I want to make the devices pop out, right? And so I'm going to add a visualization that says, I'm going to look at a node, and then based on the degree, which is the number of things connected to a node, I want the size to be uh, dependent on, you know, the node degree, meaning if a node has a lot of things connected to it, it'll be bigger, right? And so if you're a device and you have a lot of interfaces, then your devices are going to be bigger nodes. So these are device nodes, and all of these are interface nodes. And you can kind of see they're kind of connected together. Now, what I want to then do is when I click on one of these nodes, I want to see information about it. And right now, uh, I want the name of the node to pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a visualization that says my check ID is going to be the text of the node. And so if I were to click on this node here, it might be hard to see, but this is now the, the, the device name that shows up. And if I look at the data panel here, you know, I can see where it says check ID. You can see like this is my device name. All right, so far so good. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to color the edges of the this graph based on the state of the interface, right? So that we can see which interfaces are showing up as master or slave or passive. So again, we're going to add a visualization, and I'm going to color the edge based on the target node 
uh, PTP state. So the edge, you know, has a uh, where it connects to, right, which would be the target, and I want to set the color uh, based on the PTP port state. And I've got I preset these colors again. So uh, red is disabled, uh, green is master, uh, magenta is passive, and blue is slave. So really quickly, we can kind of get a sense of which interfaces. Um, are being um, used by the protocol in their particular state. Now, I also want to make these interfaces uh, pop out a bit more so that the visualization you know, is easier to kind of see. So I want to make the edges that are connected to devices bigger than these kind of interconnect relationships. So I'm going to add a visualization, and I'm going to make the edge dependent on the source this time um, that I'm going to make it based on its degree and its size. So now we can kind of see that these become a little bit bigger because its source has a lot more things connected to it. That's that concept of degree again. And now we can see, you know, this network as, you know, we've got two spine devices and a whole bunch of devices connected to those spines. And we can see that, you know, in our spines, there is uh, interfaces that are um, these slave interfaces, so they're essentially receiving um, the clocking from this device. And again, this is our grandmaster because it's you know an edge. But it's really hard to visualize which spine is actually the one um, you know flowing the PTP out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transform that removes these passive interfaces out of this graph, and we can do this. Uh, by looking at remove edges. So I'm going to say remove an edge uh, if the edge is connected to a node whose PTP port state is passive. So now we kind of got that now acyclical graph where we can see this particular node is receiving its uh, clocking from this node, right? And so if I click on this, I can see that this particular device, this spine device, is the, is the spine that is now responsible for sharing the clocking information throughout the network. And I think that's pretty cool. So what we can then do is we can look at just these, um, these, slave, inf these slave ports. So let's say I wanted to you know, quickly find the grandmaster. This, this graph could be really, really big, and I couldn't just you know, kind of follow the colors. So if I wanted to look at only the PTP port states that are in a uh, slave state, you can kind of see that it highlights here. But more importantly, I can look at the data, and here I'll, I'll wind this up. And what we're looking for is the interface that is not connected um, to any other network device, which means I want to find the, the zero uh, in this column. So the node out degree means how many things are connected outbound from that node. And if you're an edge port, that number is zero. So I can quickly see that this interface, I could quickly just zoom into it. If I had you know, 100 nodes with 10,000 interfaces, I would quickly find my grandmaster interface. And again, we can see that it is exactly the one that shows up in our report. So I thought that was, that was uh, pretty interesting. Close this out. Now, the next thing I want to do is uh, I can visually again see, you know, that there's a lot of errors here and there's a few errors here. But if I wanted to collapse that information into an easy to read chart, um, you know, what I want to do is I want to click on this node and see all the failures. And right now, when I click on that node, I'm only seeing information about that node. So the concept is is to to collapse nodes into each other so you can click on it and see, you know, all these failures. And in order to do that, I'm going to uh, create another transform. And that transform is called contract edges. And in this case, I want to find all the edges who has a, have a target node whose status is fail. So now what you can see is, and it, it's kind of hard to see, but you see these yellow dots. And that means that these nodes have nodes that have been contracted in them. Now we want those nodes to visually pop out. And the way that we're going to do that is add another visualization on the node. And we're going to look at what's called the node multiplicity. And that means how many things are within that node. 
We want to color that so that you know the more things that are inside the node, you know, show up, you know, in, with this color. And if there's none, there'll be zero or it'll be white. Sorry. So right off the bat, what you can see here is anything that's white doesn't have a problem, and anything that's colored does. And so this one has more problems than this problem. And so if I were to click on this node now and look at the data set, you can see all the fails very easily and quickly show up here. And you can see that their PTP port state is disabled, which is why those have failed. So that's how we kind of got to this visualization. Um, and again, you know, what I'm doing here is I'm taking an off the shelf tool that's free, Graphia, and I'm using uh, data science techniques, uh, in this case, a graph of data and analyzing it, um, and then applying it to the network, you know, our networking industry. And I think there's a lot of interesting use cases here by taking data and representing it in a, in a, in a graph and then using graph techniques to analyze the data, which is, again, how I actually generated the report um, and looked at the report. And then I'm using this tool to visualize that report. So I thought this was a really interesting technique. Um, again, I'm just experimenting with this. This is not like a, a tool or production kind of you know, thing that we use, but um, it is interesting. I think there's a lot of um, potential here. I thought I'd share that with folks, see what you guys think. If you have any questions, please do reach out. Um, hope you enjoyed.